everyone. Um, so for today's video, um, I have thought of a topic. So instead of what I've done for previous years, uh, Vlogmas, just kind of like snippets of every day, I thought I want to do something more focused this year. So uh, the first, and then, I don't know, the hair is, I don't know. Uh, so the first video, um, I did something about what to do with your advent calendar. The second video was lots of Christmas uh, decoration, inspiration. And today, um, I'm kind of, I'm not in a cleaning mood, but I need to clean. Uh, if you know me, you might know that uh, I'm a perpetually messy person. Um, yeah, I like to <clears throat> have all my things where I can see them. Um, I like to do many different projects in a day. So yeah, a lot of stuff are just out. Um, but then also, I get overwhelmed really easily and perhaps that's kind of a circle. <laughs> <laughs> because I leave stuff out and maybe that overwhelms me, I don't know. So, um, but I was running out of place to put down my projects or to put it in. Uh, but at the same time, I had quite a collection of boxes. Is it like, is it like a part of adulthood where you're like, you get a box like you get sent a package and you're like, this is a really good box. I'm gonna keep this. And <laughs> now in my defense, I do use them a lot um, because I also send out stuff and uh, a lot of the boxes that I keep behind that closet there, there's just this slot behind it. Um, um, yeah, and I do use them, but uh, some of the boxes, so I kept this one from the kawaii box because it is so cute, but I'm not going to send out a new leaf designs order in this. So um, yeah, so I just kept it. <clears throat> and now since I was running out of stuff, to put my projects in and I have these boxes I thought why not you know combine those so I've put I've organized some of the stuff in here and um, yeah so some natural dyeing sewing project is in here and um, yeah swatches and my mending projects um, yeah, and, um, it fits really nicely into my closet, so, yay! So I'm just, uh, yeah, during the small bits of cleaning here and there, I've, um, put some of my hand-knit sweaters in the wash, um, and, yeah, I'll be drying those in a bit. Um, yeah, and then hopefully... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can handle more cleaning for the day. I think I'm just gonna do some work and um, and I'll see tomorrow what else I can clean. Like organize. Organize is probably the best word. Um, there's just so much yarn that I want to turn into projects. Um,
and it makes that noise at the beginning and it kind of shakes um, if the weight isn't distributed evenly. Bringing out every drop of water or wringing it out with towels, you know, um, yeah, it's amazing. And I, uh, I totally did not know the, these things existed until uh, Jude mentioned this on his um, on the Stranded podcast. Um, and it's a spin dryer, but uh, in Dutch, it's called a centrifuge. Because I was looking for, you know, the little literal uh, translation of spin dryer for the longest time before I actually found it. So, and it was only 30 euro. So, yeah, if if you have a lot of handmade stuff that needs to be, or you know, stuff that needs to be washed by hand, or if you're an indie dyer and you need to wash loads of skeins of yarn, then get yourself one because lots of them are available on like secondhand websites so yeah just a tip 